What up, YouTube? Jordan Lance, right on Rising, back for another video today. And today we're continuing our rapid fire series of our work we did at Full Blown, and we're putting the pistol grip shifter on the red eye. So let's go. y'all down at the car we are at the shop right now doors up let's check it out oh yeah check this beast out got her under the tent keep her cool those things are insane Oh yeah. <laughs> Got that fresh headlight tin in there. A little red eye next to the red badge. Cash. Let's get that coffee out of the way. All right, now you got a nice view of this shifter right here. So check this shifter out. Awesome. We're actually going to throw the rosewood on there. It's going to look sexy. Got to make it red, of course. So first things first is we're going to figure out how to pop this panel up completely out. Um, and then we're going to unplug the shifter. And then there's a little screw, I think, right under here that we unscrew and then pop the old one off. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, guys. So. We had to ruin our carbon fiber little piece that was here um, because where we had to pry up was actually on the inside of this chrome strip and I was kind of messing with the outside a little bit. Um, so yeah, because this piece actually covers the chrome. So we had to take this off. We'll just order a new one though, that's easy. I mean, it was like, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. Um, but yeah, then we were able to easily pry up all the clips. Uh, you gotta put a little weight behind it, but yeah, so that was easy. And then you want to actually go ahead and remove this little piece right here. And then you can see that set screw right there. That's what's holding the shifter on. So we're gonna unscrew that and then pop the shifter off. So yeah. All right, so getting this little plug off was kind of a B. So you actually need a pick or like a little toothpick or something that goes into the back side of here that releases the extra clip. So we use this pick right here, but uh, yeah, you can use any little toothpick, any kind of thing like that. Um, yeah. And then next is a little like T25 or T. 35 whatever it is up in there get that unscrewed pop it off all right so we got the shifter off um, it was really easy to do the screw was a t20 um, you don't have to unscrew it all the way just enough so it loosens up pops right off the top so yeah let's figure out how to switch out this ugly one for the new pistol so the next thing they want you to do is take the shifter out of this bezel right here it's just four little clips that you push in on either side super easy so the next step is to pop this little white piece out um, and you can't go down you have to go up so you pop that up with a little screwdriver and you're gonna run it through a little thing right there and then I'm gonna come in here, push down on those little black clips with a pick or a screwdriver or something, and then you can pop the shifter out the top of the boot. Um, and you wanna be careful because the piece in here is secured with glue, so you wanna take that out but not ripping the fabric, so. All right, so 
we got the shifter out by pushing the two little black clips. You gotta push them at the same time, so it's kind of difficult, but not too bad. Okay, then we want to take this part out, which is glued in there. So you want to be a little gentle with it. So hold on. So the uh, factory shifter requires a computer chip for illuminated gear select indicator. So basically, um, you have to plug this plug back into the factory gear shifter. Um, so the ECM sees it and then there's no air light. So basically, we're gonna come back in, plug this bad boy up, and then we're gonna bury it down in here so that we don't even see it and it doesn't even affect us. Bury it right down in there. Um, won't affect anything as long as it's not in the way of the, the gear shifter. Good to go. Okay, so our shifter is way down up in there. Shouldn't affect us at all. Then we're actually good to go ahead and install the bezel again. So, I'm just going to push that down. Beautiful. And then now we're going to get to the part where we install the new shifter onto this thing. So, let's get it. Alright. So, we had to cut a little piece of the boot to get that screw in there. Then we put some Loctite on it. Screwed it up just a little bit. Now we're going to try and align it with this hole right here. Tighten it up all the way. And we should be looking real good. Alright, so it was right there. I don't really like how it's wobbling back and forth like this. I'll figure out how to get it set. There we go. Now I got it all the way in there. It's not going left to right anymore. Boom! Got our Loctite on there. I don't want to strip this thing, but I might. Oh, small. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it there, not tighten it up any. That is beautiful though. I think what we need to do now is put our little zip tie around the bottom so it doesn't go anywhere. Should be looking good. I'm gonna use the zip tie right here. And then just trim off the excess. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now let's trim off the end. Boom. Now all we gotta do is just slide it back down. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom. Pistol grip shifter, baby. Check that thing out. So all that's left to do is the most important part, make it red. Oh man, that thing's solid though. It's clicking now. Beautiful. So yeah, now we're just gonna throw on the red instead of these black corners and we're good to go. So it's real easy, just Allen wrench. Not sure of the size, but these come right off. Beautiful. Check her out, guys. 
brand new shifter. All right, let's turn her on, make sure she goes through the gears. This one, pistol grip shifter, Jordan Lance, Red Eye Racing. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.